Welcome to the video tutorial for the National Center for Health Statistics. My name is Alicia Bruno. I will be walking you through the basics of the National Center for Health Statistics webpage. The purpose of this tutorial is to give public health professionals, researchers, and data analysts a basic understanding of the resources available from NCHS and give step-by-step -step directions for some of the processes for data collection and analysis that you are most likely to run into when using the NCHS webpage. Today we're going to go over how to quickly access brief statistical summaries for using FAST stats. From there we'll look into how to find more in-depth data and finally we'll go over how to transfer a data set found through the NCHS to SAS for which this tutorial assumes you already have a basic understanding. Let's get started. The National Center for Health Statistics is the nation's leading health statistics authority operating within the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As you can see from their homepage, they have information available on their data collection systems and methods, programs they're currently involved in. These two tabs contain accessible data. They also have information on past publications as well as current news and events. If you scroll down this page, you'll see one of the tabs that is most useful for you as a public health researcher or data analyst, and that's this Researchers tab. They organize their resources based on who they would be most useful for, uh, but we'll come back to this later. So first, let's check out the resource for quick statistical overviews. From the home page, click on the Topics tab. And let's say that we're interested in finding out how the anti-vaccination movement is affecting the uptake of vaccines and the number of cases of measles. We'll use this topic throughout the tutorial. So since we're interested in vaccines, let's click the link for infectious immune. And we're interested in the uptake of the MMR vaccine. So as you can see, this has brought us to the FAST stats page for the topic of interest, and it has a lot of the information that we are interested in. So the new cases, as well as the uptake of the vaccine. And if we want more in-depth data, the sources of the FAST stats are linked below. Now let's say that we wanted to see more in-depth data and analyze it using statistical analysis software. Luckily, NCHS makes that pretty easy for us, so let's return to the home page. And then let's scroll down to that researchers tab that I talked about earlier. So for the purposes of this tutorial, let's just use a public use data file. And because we're still interested in immunizations, we can find the file for the National Immunization Survey. And as you can see, this brings us to a page containing the user's guide, the questionnaire, the codebook, the data set, and input statements for SAS and R. Today we'll be importing into SAS, so let's download the data set and the SAS input statements. So now we're going to input what we just downloaded into SAS. So you'll hit this upload button. This is where I want to upload my files. So I want to upload these two files. And this might take a minute, so we'll check back in a sec. So now both of our data set and our input statements have uploaded. So let's go ahead and open this code. First, you have to tell it where it wants the output to go. And I'm just going to put it right back into this folder. So right click, go to properties, copy the location put it within these quotes, and then you have to let it know where to get the data from. So go to the properties of your data set, copy that pathway, and put it in these quotes. Now you can run the code. And you can see from our results that that worked just fine. So now you can conduct whatever type of statistical analysis you need. So thank you for watching this tutorial on some of the basic and more advanced techniques you may use while utilizing the resources provided by the National Center for Health Statistics. I hope you were able to learn a bit more about NCHS and you were able to put the skills you learned today to use in your career. Thank you.